we have 50 kilogram chard. This chard will be moving with this velocity four meter per second. It will then, it will, once it reaches to merry-go-round, it, it jumps on it with a tangential velocity, means this velocity will stay the same until he gets to on the top of this merry-go-round. Initially, this merry-go-round is stationary, means the initial omega is zero. Uh, we suppose there is no friction at the axis of rotation. The question is, what is the angular speed of the merry-go-round just after the child has jumped onto it? We repeat, we have a child. This child will be moving with this velocity four meter per second. He jumps on this merry-go-round that was initially at rest. The objective is to find the angular speed of the merry-go-around just after the child jumped on it. We have the net external torque is zero. So that means we have the, the conservation of angular momentum. In this case, we have conservation of angular momentum. The angular momentum initial will be equal to the angular momentum final. The angular momentum initial, it will be just the angular momentum of the child. It will be the mass times R times V. So the definition of angular momentum, it will be R, the position vector, R cross MV. So this is, the, we call it linear momentum, cross product, and is the vector position from the center of rotation towards linear momentum. So, and this, the, these are an MV, they are making 90 degrees. The magnitude of this angular momentum it will be just in, in this by definition, the magnitude of this, it will be R times MV times sine of theta. Theta is the angle between the linear velocity and uh, the vector position R. So in this case is 90 degrees, the sine of 90 degrees is one. The initial angular Momentum is R times MV. R, this R is just the radius. This is RR, vector position. We say this R is just the radius of the merry-go-round. And this will be just R, M, V. Initially, this is the angular momentum initial, which is just the angular momentum of the kid, because the merry-go-round initially is at rest. The final angular momentum, the final angular momentum will be the moment of inertia of the merry-go-round, call it M, plus the moment of inertia of the kid times the angular uh, final velocity. The angular momentum initial equals to the angular momentum final. This means that we say the angular momentum initial is RMV equals to the moment of inertia of the merry-go-round plus the moment of inertia of the boy times angular velocity of the two because the boy once he's on the top on the top of merry-go-round they will be moving at the same angular uh, velocity which is omega we call it omega final now this omega final will be just the radius times the mass of the boy times the velocity of the boy 
divide by the sum of the moment of inertia of merry go around plus moment of inertia of the boy. So this is what will be the angular velocity final of the boy and the merry go around. We say the moment of inertia of the boy is the mass of the boy times the square of the distance between the, the boy and the rotation point. The square of the distance will be just r squared. The moment of inertia of merry go round is given, which is 700 kilograms meter squared. And the angular velocity will be omega f equals r, we said is 2 meters. The mass of the boy is 50 kilograms. Kilograms. The magnitude of velocity of the boy is 4 meters per second. The moment of inertia of America around is 700 kilogram meters squared. The moment of inertia of the boy is the mass of the boy, which is 50 kilograms, times the square of the distance. Kilograms times the square of the distance, which is two meters squared, four hundred kilograms meter squared per second. Kilograms meter squared per second. So this kilogram meter squared vanishes. Four hundred over nine hundred, which is four over nine which is 0 0.44 radians per second. This is the angular velocity of the merry-go-round and the boy together after just the boy stepped on the merry-go-round. Thank you.